And then for my birthday, you got me an anklet and it said TKN 8-11-24. 8-11 is the day of closing ceremony, so I said by this day we will be gold medalists. It hasn't come off our ankles since that, which was, when did you say? That was like two years ago? Yeah. At workouts when I really don't want to do something, I can honestly just look at that and be like, oh, I'm fine. I can get through anything. Even though it sucks. <laughs> And yeah, it's just a constant reminder of like, we're in it to go win a gold medal. So Kristen Nuss and Taryn Cloth, they just keep getting better and better. And Kristen Nuss and Taryn Cloth continue their bid to make the Olympic Games in Paris. You think we can win a gold medal? I think I started playing beach volleyball when I was like 16 or 17. I was like sophomore and then main, mainly junior year of high school is when I started playing. I was 21, 22, I don't know. January of 2019 when I stepped foot on LSU's campus, I think that was the first time I ever played beach volleyball. Actually, I know that was the first time I ever played beach volleyball. So I was talking to my coaches and one of them, he said, you can always go and play overseas, but you will never be able to go back to college. So if you want to do that, you have to do that first. And then if you don't like it, you can go the next year anyway. I started talking to different beach schools and every single one of them, I made sure that they knew that I had never played beach volleyball in my life. But as soon as I came on LSU's campus, that was where I had to be. And I don't know why, but I just, I had to be there. LSU holds a very, very special place in my heart. From being from Louisiana, I always dreamed about wearing those three letters across the chest. and. I did not want to take that jersey off. Third tournament of the year, we were number one. We had just beaten UCLA to become yeah. number one. And then Russell called us all in, and we were all sitting there, and then he told us that we basically had to pack our things, we had to go home. I just lose it, he lost it, the coaches lost it. Not to be dramatic, but that was like the most heartbreaking day of my life. Our team knew we were going to win a national championship sure. that year. Like it was gonna happen, it was in the works. To have months and months and months and years of work in, and then it's just all taken away in a day. If that wouldn't have happened, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. You would not still be in the state of Louisiana. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, it definitely there was a lot of positives that came out of it. Initially, like COVID year, when they cut the collegiate beach volleyball season, they came to me and they were like, we want to get insane. I was like, at volleyball? And they are like, at everything. Volleyball working out. And that was kind of when it started. Um, and that just became like kind of our life. And I think we both were like, no, we want, to, we want to do this. We want to take our game to the next level. And that's when we both went to Drew. And he was like, Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna get after it. Today was tough. Louisiana, middle of summertime. There's no air condition in there. These are the days we're gonna look back and we're gonna be happy that we worked out. Even though things are not going super awesome and we're tired, pretty exhausted. We're dead. <laughs> SOS. We are at Alpha Gym. This is where the magic happens. He hears our goals, and that immediately becomes his goal. He wants to make that happen more than anything. You're gonna be doing these when you're traveling as well. You'll probably only have access to dumbbells. Want to do the barbell or like the barbell better? It really doesn't matter. Starting to see like commercials of like the Olympics. I'm just like, holy crap. 
On my deadline day, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a decision. I couldn't decide if I wanted to come back and play beach volleyball or if I wanted to stay home and then maybe go pursue an indoor career or just start my career in general. I called you and I was like, I'm coming back. They had never played together at that point, uh, but they were quite successful. And so it was kind of fun to watch that first time of them being on the court together. So if they thought us playing together was the best, then I was like, yeah, I'm going to get on board. And that was the and whole reason we came back. Yeah, it was to win. Watching Taryn Close and Kristen Nuss is just something special. You do not want to miss that match. The winningest team in the country. That is Taryn Close and Kristen Nuss. They are undefeated this year. The only team in the nation that's undefeated. They have played at such an incredible level. They complement each other so well. Close and Nuss just improved to 36 and 0 on the season. 36 and 0. 36 and 0. Wow. Did you think about 36 and 0 when you were actually playing? Because I wasn't really. Thinking about that. No, not at all. October of 2020, we went to this random tournament that was in Franklin, Tennessee. Even before we went to the tournament, I was like, Emily Stockman and Kelly Kalinsky at the time, Larson, are playing in this tournament. And then when we matched up against them in the championship, I was like, oh my gosh, like we're about to play a, a pretty high caliber team in the US. We had just played uh, the championship match. We had won. And Kristen's like, do you know who we just beat? I had not a clue. That tournament was, kind of like the turning point for both of us to be like, oh wait, we can actually do this at the next level. And at the time we had no idea, like I didn't know that was going on in her head. I haven't made a wrap in probably like two months, which is funny because for 12 months, that's all we had every single day for lunch. My mom, she was like, how do you not get tired of eating the same meal? Everybody says that. She was like, you are kind of reminding me of a dog right now. Think about all of those amazing, strong horses that are in amazing shape. They don't get a pick what they eat. Mm -hmm. But when that's you describe true. somebody that has a great physique, you're like, wow, they're like a stallion. That's like a horse. And the horse eats exactly what it's told. And it's basically the same thing every single day. A lot of people don't want to eat the same thing every single day. I enjoy it because then I don't have to think about it and I really hate lunch. I love food and love trying new things. And so yes, at times it is very, very difficult. When people are like, hey, let's go get dinner and drinks. And it's like, ugh, being social, it almost requires, you don't have to be eating and drinking, but it's kind of weird if you're sitting at a restaurant, you're not eating what everybody else is eating then it makes people feel uncomfortable. It's tough, but bigger goal. AVP Pro Series Atlanta. Atlanta was an AVP Next Gold Series. Like this was the first time I stepped foot at a, like a big AVP event. So we weren't even in the actual tournament. We had to play in a qualifier the day before. And we go out and we win the first set. And then we just kept winning. What just happened to us? What just happened? We just qualified for the Atlanta main draw. We won the whole event, and it was like, what just happened? This court, this could be it. Nuss for the win. She's got it. Both and Nuss have done it. They have won the championship here in Atlanta. Their first AVP win ever. You're so good. You're amazing. Did you walk into that tournament and think that we could win? I I thought we could do well. I was like, I think we're gonna do well and surprise some people. Did I think like, oh yeah, we were going to win? I think I was saying that. I don't know if I fully was like, heck yeah, we're going to win. You 100% said that. Cause I was like, I was so pumped that we qualified. That was like my big, I was, I was And then I was like, no, the, the job's not over yet. Yeah. We decided that Paris 2024, that was, that was our goal. We wanted to, be gold medalist and 
we had zero points and we had to figure out how we were going to get into these international tournaments. And so many people were like, split up, split up. Those moments were really, really challenging. I started to believe them after the 100th, 200th, 300th person that was telling us. And It's a little different process. They might want to think about splitting up for a little bit and getting back together. Otherwise, they're not gonna have a shot. Not saying they can't, they can't do it, but they're really uh, behind. We were freaking out. The top player, he's been to multiple Olympics. He's an Olympian. The other guy knows every single thing about beach volleyball. And we were like, oh my gosh, how are we not listening to any of the experts? It was going against all rules. Everything that we were supposed to do, we did not do. Kristen came into my room and she said, you're going to sign up for this tournament with this person and you're gonna bring back points. And it was, it was terrifying for me because I felt like the weight of the world on my shoulders, like if I didn't go and excel at this tournament, I was losing it for both of us. And I think that's why I do put so much pressure on myself. It's like, not only am I losing, it's you're losing because of me. And I think that like forever, losing a tournament, not playing well, not performing well, not doing my workouts, it's just how is it affecting you, not me, really. She was signed up and luckily, the COVID rules were really strict and you had to be vaccinated to go. And unfortunately, the girl she was gonna be play with was not, so I was able to fill that spot. We again, just like Atlanta, we were in the qualifier. We weren't even in the tournament. You had to come through the qualifier. If you lose one game, you're done. You're out. A team not to be messed with. Played two games, we qualified, and we went on to win that tournament, which gave us 400 international points. And it is all over. This team has been remarkable. Taryn Clough, Kristen Nuss, undefeated across four days of match play, are your gold medal winners. Because you were world class this week, and I hope you know that. Well, thank you, but it's pretty easy. She's always world class. I mean, this girl, Taryn, right here makes it pretty easy to play defense behind. I mean, she puts up a hell of a block, so it's just easy to kind of wait, <laughs> run things down, and just hope for the best. <laughs> It wasn't the thousand dollars that came along with that. That sign meant we had points, which gave us hope. Got to play in another challenge event, which was in Kusadasi, Turkey. And in the championship match, we played the Olympic silver medalist. And we went in and somehow pulled out a crazy third set battle and won that challenge event. And the point goes to the USA. Oh, wow, what an incredible finish. So within- How? This, How did this all happen? So within the span of a couple months, we went from zero points to then playing in like the highest level of beach tournaments. And we actually ended up going to Latvia and we played in the our first Elite 16, highest level um, possible. We took a fifth. That was the beginning of our fifth streak. And then you just, you get to the end of the year and you're like, oh my God, we can't even win a game. How are we supposed to achieve this goal? And then it's it's almost like a spiral of like, do we really belong here? Is this what we want to be doing? And then, I mean, it's it's not fun to fail on TV in front of everyone. You feel like you're letting each other down. You feel like you're letting coach down. You sat on the bed and you're like, are we not good enough to get past fifth? And I think I said, F that, we are way better than fifth. This is what you did. We're, We're gonna win this thing. Yeah. And then we did. And we had to get over that jump. Like we could we could sometimes make the quarterfinals, semifinals, but we had never won an Elite 16. Um, and finally getting on that podium, being at the top of the podium, that was huge. And that is a brilliant performance from Kristen Nuss and Tara Clark. What a display. This was huge. A massive step up for Nuss. And the USA have done it in three. Gold medal to USA. Your winners, Taryn, Cloth, and Kristen Nuss. Remarkable performance yet again. And the number two seeds continue their meteoric rise. And we've seen it all in this game now. Fantastic. United States.
continues their blitz through the field. It's goal for Kristen Nuss and Tara Klong. We started 2023 in a qualifier in an Elite 16 in Doha, and then we ended the year in Doha by winning the World Tour Finals. Kristen Nuss and Taryn Kloth are your winners of the Beach Pro Tour Finals. Casual, riding in a gondola. Hey. They've been doing okay so far, so we're still trying to get better. I want to like change the script of what beach volleyball is. But as soon as you become a pro, you have to go to California. I don't like that. Louisiana is my home. I want to do it here. That just in me of like, oh, I want to prove these people wrong. We would rather quit volleyball than not be friends at the end of this. That is a really special bond and I don't think a ton of people can say that. Volleyball-wise, they were going to play the game differently than everybody else. That's a really good set. I would think it would be easier to hit there and more effective. Last two. Last one. Not as bad as when we were started in California last year. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be nice to have two carts of balls out there. This wall, we used to do our ball throws at the wall. And we came, it probably about two years ago is when this piece of wood went on the wall. And on it, it says Paris 2024, we coming for you. And it also over here, it says AVP tied for number 14. At the time we were tied for 14th in the AVP not like that so having things on this wall to make us angry almost and also motivate us was really needed because you're literally just like humming the ball as hard as you can at the wall but yeah this is our little wall of motivation it's wild to come back and see that it especially the Paris 2024 very motivating yeah. I've been talking about this year for four years and it's finally here yeah. It was weird, the goal from being like, we want to go to Paris. Cause I was like, I was like, I think they can do that. I think they can, they can get to Paris. Every single time I listen to the national anthem, I 100% picture myself standing up on that podium with my hand over my heart and seeing that American flag go up. Right under the Eiffel Tower. Right under the Eiffel Tower. I like that. Wow! I open my phone and I see this. <laughs> that was right there. You think we can win a gold medal? Right now, absolutely.